I just was in shock. And then I sat on the on the rock over there and just cried because I thought, I don't understand why it's gone. A relieved Nancy Bokma visited her son's memorial bench today. This after days of confusion after it was removed by the city of Toronto. It's coming because it was um, Thanksgiving weekend. I was devastated because I thought, you know, I don't think people understand you know what this means to a lot of people not just to me but to a lot of people the bench is in honor of nancy's son justin who was killed in 2016 after trying to intervene during a dispute justin was shot and killed in kensington market along with another man the memorial bench was set up as it held a special meeting for the family justin and my son justin that was shot and killed was um this was our bench we used to sit here and we'd have lunch we'd talk about life, we laugh, we cry, we we spend a lot of time here because this is his area. Um, he lived just on the street. After discovering the bench was missing, Nancy reached out to the City of Toronto for an explanation. She told us that she hadn't heard back for weeks and it wasn't until City News reached out to city officials that they finally got back to her. Staff apologized and told her the bench would be returned. In a statement, the city said that, we regret that we failed to notify Justin Bokma's family about the temporary removal of their commemorative bench. The bench was removed following community complaints about late night gatherings, parties. Over a week after where I finally got a phone call and they were very apologetic, but they, you know, I just, I didn't feel satisfied because when they were telling me about it, they said we didn't know it was a memorial till we took it down. But once they knew it was a memorial, and then all the phone calls that I was leaving and, you know, so they they knew that it was a memorial for one thing, but then they ignored my calls. Nancy Bokma says that she is happy that the bench is back, but is unhappy that it happened in the first place. City News also asked the city of Toronto if the bench's removal had anything to do with the modified stage two. They said that this was an isolated incident in response to community complaints and that removing park benches was not part of the city's response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Brandon Rose, City News.